mean, no pain, no gain. Am I right? No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie, and today I have another yoga tip for you. Tonight, I just wanted to give y'all a few tips just to help you get a little bit more flexible. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So first things first be patient you've got to be patient it's not going to happen overnight especially if you're not doing it a lot i know i say no pain no gain but keep in mind you don't want it to like hurt too bad so if it's hurting in like if it's like a pinch or like a like a stabbing pain or like a shock or like anything like that then you probably need to do a little bit of adjusting there <laughs> i mean stretching is gonna hurt like, I feel like it's probably more of something that, like, younger kids have issues with um, grasping, but I feel like that's always something that comes up. It's like, oh, but it just hurts too bad. It's like, well, you're stretching your muscles out. Of course it's going to hurt. Another really big thing to focus on when you're stretching and trying to get more flexible is really focusing on positioning of your body. Alignment and positioning is so important because not only does it help, like, your blood flow and your energy flow, but it also just builds like a really safe and firm foundation. So a really good thing to think about whenever you're stretching, even if you're not even doing yoga, you're just stretching. Um, think about doing mountain pose. Mountain pose is perfect alignment of your body. So it's basically what a skeleton would look like in science class. In any stretch you're doing, well, in just about any stretch you're doing, you wanna think about the way your body is aligned. So. My feet, I know you can't really see my feet right now, but my toes are spread out. So I'm distributing weight evenly on all four corners of both feet. So my big toes, my little toes, and then just both of my toes. That just helps keep, keep things engaged. And also my hips are squared out to the front. Pelvis is tucked a little bit, but I mean, in regards to this video, you don't really have to worry about that. You wanna keep a straight back. So you don't wanna be too slouched over and you don't want to be going into stretches like this. So a good way to do this is to, first of all, bend your knees when you're going into some stretches. So like if you're doing a pike with your legs out in front of you, bend your knees and try to bend at your waist to reach forward. So then that way you're hinging at your waist, which is what you're supposed to be doing to stretch this instead of going this way, you know what I mean? Another good way to keep your back straight is to just lift your shoulders up and roll them back to where your shoulder blades just lay flat on your back. So with that being said, like I mentioned the angles and stuff like that. Um, what I mean by that is just like I was saying, keeping your hips square. So like if you're working on your split pose, try not to just turn out to the side and do it. Keep your hips square to the front. Like if you were doing a lunge or if you're doing your half split pose, and just ease your way into it that way which by the way i have a whole video on that i can link it below and then another one that popped in my head is just like if you're stretching your lunge keeping that right angle right there instead of you know making it a short one because then your knee ends up going over your toes so i'll go back to just a few more really quick tips um because i mean i don't really think there's anything else i wanted to say about that so another real quick thing is even though you want to keep your muscles engaged so you're protecting yourself you still want to try to isolate whichever muscle you're trying to stretch and try to soften that one so a really good way to do that is taking really big deep inhales and exhales and on your exhale really focusing on thinking about that certain muscle that needs to be stretched speaking of being relaxed stretch when you get up in the morning or when you go to bed at night just do it in bed and then all you gotta do is just lay back down go to sleep or it will wake you up in the morning um <laughs> i got another video on that too i'll link it below all right also as far as the inhales and exhales go don't forget to breathe you're just gonna make yourself more miserable don't forget to breathe just breathe <sighs> Another one that I have to learn sometimes too, if you're not so flexible and you just really want to get flexible like really fast and it's just like, oh, I just gotta get flexible. Not only do you gotta be patient, but you just gotta swallow your pride, dude. Swallow your pride, start out small, do baby steps. That's better than trying to go big and end up hurting yourself or pulling something. <laughs> So if you are really serious about this, commitment is another thing. You need to make sure you're stretching. Like, I mean, 
not all the time don't be like obsessed about it but stretch like i said in the mornings at night stretch in the middle of the day it'll be good for your body it's kind of good for your body to stretch and move it around and stuff anyway so speaking of doing it whenever a really 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 good time i used to do this back when i cheered um a really great time to stretch is after your shower because your muscles are all warmed up well if you take warm showers or hot showers so make sure you don't get super cold afterwards because then you might end up hurting yourself cold muscles don't like to be stretched warm muscles love to be stretched so if you're gonna do like an intense stretch you need to make sure in general you need to make sure that your muscles are warmed up a lot of people use stretching as a warm-up you know going to the gym or doing a sport or something like that if you're gonna do that though, run around, do some like high knees, jump around, do some jumping jacks, do something first that's gonna get you flowing and get you going before you try to stretch your cold muscles and end up pulling one a little. And my last and final tip for you today, if you are or are not a little yogi, I mean, go get you some yoga blocks and a yoga strap. Just use props, just use props you can find around the house. Back up some books, use a belt. So then that way you can have better alignment. And if you're, let's say you're doing like, like I mentioned earlier, a forward fold or like a pike, whatever you, you refer to it as. Let's say you can't reach your toes without bending your back or rounding your back out. Well, that's not the alignment you want, right? So you have the strap around your foot, it gives you extra length. So then you're able to stretch with good alignment instead of straining yourself and possibly hurting yourself. So that was all I have for you today. If you found those very helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That'd be very helpful to me. <laughs> I'm putting that in there, Bella. What? Don't forget to subscribe if you need some more yoga tips or yoga flows in your life that are quick and easy or sometimes a little bit more on the harder side. And I hope everybody has a great week. Happy holidays.